Okay, hello everybody. So as requested, we will go ahead and make a video on how to use the Yamaha R1M GPS unit that comes with the bike. I know, there's no wheel. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but this video should be useful for the Yamaha R1M 2016, 2017, 18, 19. And we'll go ahead and assume that it's the same for the 2020. Uh, so I removed the bolts and screws that way it's easier for me to show you and it'll be faster you obviously start off by removing your seat from the seat you will remove your passenger seat from that passenger seat you will go ahead and remove this bracket right here um, I know your bracket will probably not have this cut out but I made the cut out because I tend to be a knucklehead and lift my ignition on all the time to for example show how my lap times and so on on the actual screen and my battery drains so with this battery oh well, there's a helicopter passing so we'll wait <laughs> okay so with this battery if it drains he has some juice saved that i pressed the button and he has enough juice for me to jump start the bike real fast rather than doing jumper cables and all that stuff so after that anyways you will go ahead and remove this cover right here there's four screws plastic tabs that go here uh, which are a pain in the butt to take off by the way oof don't even get me started on those so this is the wire that connects to the Yamaha brain in the bike so this connects to your actual unit this unit this is the harness that connects to this uh, you go ahead and start by assembling this bracket there's four screws of the same size so you go ahead and mount this over this and they will go here the two front ones will go where it latches to the rear passenger seat so you will go ahead and mount that the rear bolts you will see where they line up as soon as you put this front ones and it's not that difficult to get lost on that we'll go ahead and tighten them out real quick Once that's done, you will get the unit itself. It comes with this little spongy thingy. You will go ahead and mount it across, like so. I'll get a close up. That's how it goes right there, right there, right there, and right there. Those are the screws that go there. So then you will proceed with connecting the wires. So this one will go with this white plug connector here. Make sure you hear that clicking sound on any wire you connect. It will save you the hassle of being, oh, it doesn't work. You actually didn't plug it in correctly. So from there, you will go ahead and grab your GPS antenna and wire and overlap it like so. Once it sits there, it sits properly. It connects to this other plug. Again, there's goes my clicking. This one just stays like that. I don't know what's it for, so we will not even talk about that so these are the two major component clicks uh, components that you have to click in and connect so you tuck that in there then you go ahead and mount this little bracket that goes here it goes back in here you go ahead and snap that little place there snap this one in place here then you put the four screws that are here the plastic ones um, note that this thing gets hold by two screws that are like this. So you will go ahead and get in star and get the right size. So you see there's the star. It's a 27T. So you will go ahead and mount it, align it to the bracket that goes down there. So I don't know if you can see the hole. That's where it goes to. This screw goes there. There's two. So one on this side and one on the other side. Let's put this back in place here. So you will go ahead and do both sides. It's kind of difficult to align. You will fight it, but hey, you want to play? Gotta do it. <laughs> 
Um, we're actually not gonna go through it and put these things because I gotta take it back off and it's just extra work for me. But those two screws go there and that stays in place. Once that's there, you will go ahead and put your other plate back in here, which goes like that. You put the screws here. Those, you will go ahead and put the further ones out first. Don't tighten them because then this one align. So just like slap them on there, move it around, align it to here. Then you do the two here and two here, and then that's that. After that, you will go ahead and get your regular seat and slap it on just like that. Um, once that's there, you will go ahead and uh, move forward here. Let's see here. Let's move this phone away. So, here's the fun part. Uh, with this, um, unit you are able to keep track of speed uh cooling temperature leaning angle uh the coolest part which is uh, the gps unit and lap timers so here you will go ahead and turn your ignition on um you will hit out of there hold it this little lever here press it in Sometimes likes to fight, so we'll let it fight. <laughs> All right, so once that switches, you will go here. You will most importantly hit login. Up there, you are going to see that you obviously have the option to start or stop here with my cool pointer and the allen key once you hit start you will see this thing turn green that means that your gps is actually active now and you will start recording the gps coordinations and you will show a map of wherever track you are on you will go to display mode and i already had it in track mode you obviously go to track mode and that's what your display will look like that if you have regular street view that's how it would normally look so obviously you are in the track you need all the other things in there so you will go to display mode track mode and leave it in track mode lap time um obviously you already hit login so once you hit that you will be able to look at your display here it's able to store up to 40 laps you will have your average, your fastest, and so on. So, if you already go to the track and you want to clear whatever is saved already, you just hit reset. I don't have anything, so sure, I don't want. I want to reset it. Yes, that's how you reset it. So it will be in zeros every time you hit lap time. Display all this will be in zeros once you hit reset. So to actually use it, you will go ahead and hold this camera is different obviously click uh, yeah click once that will start flashing scroll up once that will start flashing now hold it down and press it the little dots will start flashing once those little dots start flashing you are good to go into the track you will use your high beam flasher where it says the high beams and lap this is how you actually keep track of your laps every time you cross the finish line you will go ahead and tap it in you go do a full lap you come back to the finish line and you will hit it again it sucks it's manual but that's how you do it um and then you will actually store your lap times into the other settings i mean into the unit itself so that's where you will see your lap times right there display so it will essentially i mean the bike's not moving so it's not actually recording anything but yes that's how it functions if you have the app you will be able to connect to the ipad no that it's only for an ipad it will not function on your phone 
so if you have an iPad you will have another unit here you will be able to see your P dash N S dash N and M A C those are the serial numbers that you need once you download the app I think it's YC YCR or YRC app it's the Apple Store where you can just scan that and obviously lead you to the app um, you will follow the steps to log into this you do have to keep the ignition running when you connect to the Wi-Fi through this if you are gonna have it on make sure you have it on a battery tender because um, you don't want to drain it I just unplugged it so but I mean I have the tender there but anyhow you will have to have it plugged to the battery tender or the bike on because it will drain your battery super fast. Um, once you have that into the app and you're logged in, you will, like I said, you'll be able to keep track of lap times, uh, speed, braking points. Um, it'll generate the map of where you were running. Uh, it's a pretty cool app. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. And I could try to answer the question. If you are a visual learner, let me know. And I'll try to make a video of whatever question you might have. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and yeah. Thanks. <laughs>